What's up guys, Metal Maverick here. Today we're gonna to talk about Harbor Freight's metal cutting bandsaw. Uh, item number 63469. It is a one horsepower, seven by 12 cutting bed with hydraulic feed. So I'm just gonna rattle off some pros and cons. I'm not gonna to try to make this a long video. I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes and um, I've had this bandsaw for about a year and a half now. I've gone through a couple blades and I figured I'd give you a review coming from a welder fabri fabricator standpoint. And for starters, I'm going to talk about my biggest pet, fee pet peeve with this thing. This on and off switch like this. This is an absolute joke. Like they expect you to set this. And then when it comes down and it turns it off. But every time I go from cutting something that's one inch to something that's six inches, you have to adjust this. I mean, they couldn't, I mean, throw a proximity sensor in there or something like that. So it's just a, I don't know. That was just, that's my biggest gripe with this saw is, is that. And the fact that in order to do the full range, if you look back here, there's a <clears throat> an angle uh, index back there. And in order to do the full 45 degrees, I had to move that bolt from here to there so I can, you know, adjust it. And I had to cut a portion of this off. I, I don't know why it's set up like that. Um... Uh, is weird. I haven't had to adjust it since I moved that. So if you guys are looking at getting one of these, I'd recommend doing that as your first thing and just, I mean, grit your teeth and cut it down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll be happy that you did. Uh, another big gripe is this blade guide. This is as far as it'll go out. It, it's maxed right now. So that to me is like, you couldn't have made that like another four inches so you can get closer to material when you're cutting um that that's those are the biggest gripes that i've had with this thing other than that um it hasn't been too bad of a saw uh, another quick thing real quick is when you guys go to get this and you go to flip it up be careful because on its stock wheels this thing will damn near flip over backwards and the first time I did it, it, I about lost it. So I built this stand on six inch casters down there, which it worked out good because now I don't have to worry about flipping over, but also I have a spot to throw all my cutoffs down there to keep, you know, kind of that bed clean. And well, here's another, not a big deal, but down in here, they have this screen that you use to, you know, keep your shavings out of the coolant tank, which that's a pot, uh, that's a pro about this is there's a coolant tank down there. So that helps keep your, you know, your material from getting too hot. And it also increases the longevity of your blade. So, but the fact that this is, this is, this is all I got. Like they couldn't have found a way to mount that in there because shit just crawls right underneath it and goes down into that pump and gets sucked up and, you're just killing the life of your coolant pump. Other than that, I mean, the blade that it does come with is like a 7 TPI. And that's fine if you're cutting like a soft, mild steel or, or like aluminum. But if you try cutting any kind of stainless steel, it's, um, I mean, it, it's, you're just literally uh, chewing away at it. It's, it's not pretty. I would recommend switching. I picked up a... Uh, 10 by 12 TPI and that's just it's a clean smooth cut doesn't hop doesn't chirp this is actually a cut sample of mine that actually turned out really well so I'm at four minutes and 30 seconds let's bang out some cons uh, or some pros this does have a blade tensioner in it and it's not a gimmick there's actually a spring in here that tells you the load on your your um, Band, uh, your blah, 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 yeah, and your blade, jeez. And what else is what else is a pro? The hydraulic feed control that's really nice. 
Uh, the fact that you could set this up as a vertical and use it for doing small intricate stuff is kind of nice. Other than that, the other pro is the cost. It's, I think I paid like a thousand bucks for it. You're not going to go and be able to pick up a, a Jet or a Wilton for that price. And what else? What else? What is this as a pro? Well, a pro is you have a variable speed. I just put it on the lowest setting and went with it because I cut anywhere between aluminum to stainless steel and I don't feel like switching it every time I cut something different. And the coolant tank. It's, uh, it's another pro. And... I think that's about it. You know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to give a holler. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, that's been a review on the Harbor Freight Bandsaw. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.